Good evening and welcome to another episode of You, Me, and He, a podcast that during high school played junior hockey and still holds two league records, one for the most time spent in the penalty box, and we were the only podcast to take off a skate and try to stab a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I am your host, Rob Lambert, and I'm joined by my co-host. This is Josh Frankenstein <laughs> and Drew Carroll. <laughs> That's right. And hey, fellas, tonight I have hot... Are you all right over there? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine, dude. It's just I, I when you said that, I just immediately started thinking the first time I ever watched Happy Gilmore, dude. Like I, I don't, awesome. I don't think I'd ever laugh so hard. But oh god. Yeah. <laughs> so tonight, I want to share with you guys an article that is hot off the presses and something that we need to talk about, fellas. This is coming from IndieWire.com. Limp Biscuit's Fred Durst is directing a thriller where John Travolta plays an insane stalker. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. Fred Durst is directing a film called Moose that is going to star John Travolta as a crazy stalker who falls in love basically with, uh, with a celebrity. And it's based on an actual event that happened to Fred Durst himself <laughs> oh gosh so i think we can all agree that this is going to be just a classic feature film i can't wait yeah dude uh. much like the room this is like a <laughs> yeah, we exactly. still... <laughs> hold on hold on did you guys ever see that john travolta movie life on the line uh no. yeah it was terrible <laughs> i'm glad you did <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't either <laughs> this, okay now, th this movie was supposed to be like like really popular amongst like linemen because it's literally about John Travolta as like a foreman of linemen who work on electrical lines. Oh, dude. What? Yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> it's a real movie? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. That sounds horrible. Go, go to YouTube and just type in life on the line, John Travolta. <laughs> be prepared to laugh a lot like it's, I it's horrible yeah i thought i was done with him after face off but i guess that was uh i'm gonna have to check Dude, it was like out. the fireproof for electricity workers so there you go now here's what i will say according to a press release there has been a little bit of uh there's been some issues on set and sure. uh hopefully <laughs> Hopefully the movie gets gets off the ground, but according to this press release, one of the issues was Fred Durst, I guess, wanted to shoot on film, but the studio shut him down because they said it'd be way too expensive, sure. so he has to shoot digital. <laughs> and apparently the issue there is that unlike most directors when they say when they get to the end of a scene, they would hit cut, Fred Durst just keeps rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where it was going to go, man. <laughs> Now, all joking aside, all joking aside, though, apparently there was a little bit of a falling out between Travolta and Fred Durst. No and way. When they re when they reached out to Fred Durst for a comment, he just basically said, look, it's my way, my way, yo, the highway. <laughs> oh, my so anyway, gosh. <laughs> it's going to be good. It's going to be great. So, Josh, oh, how you doing? Dude, <laughs> I terrible. wonder if anyone who listens to the podcast ever heard, like, Limp Biscuit. I hope those puns, like, actually resonate with them. <laughs> uh, a few of them, I'm sure, dude. But, uh... <laughs> dude, if you've oh. never listened to Limp Biscuit, just go listen to their, their, their second album. You're going to just... You're going to feel like you're just knee-deep in the 90s, bro. Dude, the problem oh, is, is God, I, I didn't even hate their music, dude. It's just Fred Durst every time. You're just like, dude, get off the screen. Dude, the guy has a, <laughs> the such the an guy angry has a last little name man. that's close enough to douche. You might as well call him Fred Douche. <laughs> Fred like, douche. seriously. So if the issue was every time you would see Fred Durst on screen that you'd have a problem, imagine if him... Scott Stapp get together, form a band. Oh, it's gonna be, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be horrible. <laughs> just don't, never, never make a music video. Oh, right? yeah, dude, could you imagine? Go. Could you imagine yeah. the rap verses along with Scott Stapp's choruses? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, we should actually Give try to improv gun. that some night. We should <laughs> actually try to improv that some night. That would, dude. Yeah. Maybe it'd be gold. Who knows? <laughs> Anyways, that's so funny, dude. I had an interesting week this week. You did? Yeah, I did. It was. It's. Uh, you know, I've I've got I've got four kids, and they never cease to surprise me. Sure, or amaze me, right? And uh, you know, growing up, there was always this common myth. You know, there was this common myth that uh, that girls don't fart, right? Yeah, I, I've got three. I got three girls, one boy, and uh, 
You've done the scientific research. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I've I've lived amongst the scientific research, which is you know basically like going to the Amazon and living with gorillas. That's that's kind of like what it equates to, to be honest with you. But this myth that that girls don't fart is is one hundred percent completely untrue. In fact, we were we were watching a movie um, tonight actually, and. Uh, my my youngest daughter was was just tired of watching the movie and she was like playing in the room and just walking around right and then she just stops suddenly in the middle of the room just stops in the middle of the room and this explosion <laughs> of of gaseous material Gas. just like <laughs> emits and it, it would have been enough to make a 21 year old college boy proud. Like, I mean, it was just one of those things, man. Like you kind of like just sit up automatically because you think, oh my God, my child just spontaneously combusted. <laughs> She's dying. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what you think, you know? <laughs> and you look over and she's just standing there and she uh, does one of these where she looks to the left and then she looks to the right. <laughs> And then she looks to the left again and just has this smile that just comes from her mouth and just like immediately puts her arms like in this cross and looks at me with this smile on her face and goes, I fart. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 sweetie. No, sweetie. We call that a nuclear bomb. Like that's, that was not a fart. Yeah. These so, are weapons of mass destruction. These are weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> Wars have been fought over less than this. <laughs> I just, in that moment, for some reason, I just imagine the camera just zooming in on your face and one tear coming down. <laughs> and you just hear oh, dude. Randy Travis, daddies don't just love their children <laughs> every now and then. <laughs> dude, it was just the funniest thing, man. I mean, I, I, I would have expected this from my, my son, who is my oldest, but... I mean, this is like my two-year-old daughter who's going to turn three in just the next couple months. And I swear, dude, like, it was, yeah, yeah it was enough to make me proud. I'll tell you that much. It, it, was, it was just fantastic. <laughs> it was hilarious. Definitely broke the myths. You know, she's got two older sisters who are twins. Um, they take a lot of pride in their farts, too, which I just find sure. <laughs> absolutely hilarious and phenomenal. So i'm definitely raising go. my girls the right way yeah. don't you think i mean yeah, i, I yeah. think i'm raising my girls the right you way. you want them to so. scare off boys <laughs> <laughs> and, so you're doing good anyway that, that was one there of the highlights for my week drew what do you got for us uh it was a pretty pretty relaxing weekend um not too much going on at work i did come across this article while i was at work though and it kind of blew my mind uh so it was about it's about this guy who um, he ended up uh, like contracting HIV. And so then after that, he decided to change his gender. Okay. Well, then after that, and he thought he was going to die. And so he figured that he would, he didn't want to die a human. So wait, what? wait, yeah, <laughs> there's an option. Yeah, apparently, apparently. Yeah. Now there is in 2018. Uh, so he's already gone from being a man to a woman, which is not uncommon anymore. Um, but now he is going from being a human to being a dragon. <laughs> what? <laughs> or I, I, I guess I should say she's going from being a human to being a dragon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what's happening here is she is tattooing her whole body uh, so that it's like scales, like dragon scales. Uh, you can oh kind of see a picture gosh. here. Yeah. Uh, she put in like uh, the implants in her head. You know, like she oh, has like oh, rivets. The yeah, the rivets. Yeah. She oh, has dude. slit her tongue down the middle so that oh. she has two. She has filed all of her teeth so that they're like pointy. Sharp. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And so basically what he is saying or she is saying uh, it. is. Yes. <laughs> yeah, way to, just, way to stay on top of those pronouns, what, dude. Yeah. What it is saying. <laughs> Uh, dude. Oh, and they, he's spent, they, they have spent $40,000 on, there it seems they. like there's a lot of people in this body. So, <laughs> they, there you go. They. <laughs> so they've we've, spent $40,000 on all of these modifications. Uh, and I don't imagine that they could hold down a job at this point. You know what I mean? Wow. <laughs> That's a... Uh, Wow, uh, that's a very interesting look. I, we could probably put the the picture up. You know? Yeah, we probably yeah, we'll throw should. it up on yeah, social we, media. We sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so how does she breathe fire, dude? 
what what that's what, what i want to know <laughs> no no there's no fire because at the end of the day they're still human <laughs> But um, I guess what he's saying is he's bringing to light the fact that uh, people need to be more open-minded about uh, human humanism and speciesism. Interspeciesism, maybe. Is what it, I don't know, dude. I'm not familiar with this weird... Oh, he also, he also had his nose filed down. So it's flat oh, with man. just two little holes hey, there. Hey, he looks kind of like Voldemort right there. <laughs> Very creepy, yes, yes. Dude, the one that, yeah. that should not be named, bro. Take it easy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He shall not be named. Yeah, dude. So I, you I know who. It's just this <laughs> this really bizarre... Uh, uh, so so we're like at the point now where it's it's a it's a bad idea to assume anyone's gender, but we're now moving into a situation where we shouldn't assume anyone's species either. Their species either. <laughs> yes, yeah. We're we're living in interesting times. Could we be any more self evolved now, like than we currently are? Like as a society, I mean. Like Wow. Yeah, actually, every day we're working on it. Uh, you're right. You're right. Uh, progress. Whatever, dude. As long as progress. If it's bringing back dragons, dude, I'm good with it. Let's do it <laughs> for sure. I, I actually hope this guy oh, calls oh, uh, Game of Thrones. I'm, I, I'm sure there's an opening. There was a dragon killed last season. Right? Yeah, yeah. I was just, gonna, yeah, I was just reading. I didn't read the whole thing. Yeah, this guy's up for the part. <laughs> so yeah, that. Uh, I yeah, I just you know, no matter how bad of a day I think I'm having, I just open up my phone and look at this article, and I realize. Ain't that bad. I'm not a dragon. I'm not a dragon. <laughs> I'm not a dragon. <laughs> Who used to be a woman? Who used to be a man? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of horrible wow. decisions, tonight we're going to talk about the top three worst one-hit wonders. Yes. And look, I'm already looking at the list here, and I think it's going to be divided among us, and I'm good with that. It's probably going to be divided among the audience, and I'm good with that, too. So if you want to chime in, if we if we mention one and you're like, absolutely not, that song is amazing, we want to hear from you at uh, Yumi He Podcast on Twitter, at Yumi He Podcast on Instagram, and uh, let's keep the conversation going. So who wants to start? The worst one-hit wonders. Bring it on. I definitely have the worst one. I, I have the worst one-hit wonder on this list. And it's specifically for the reason because every time you hear the song, it'll make you want to slap a cheerleader. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like you, you're just like done. Oh like, yeah, just, dude. Straight up, like that. If I have to watch one more High School Musical dance about something like this, dude. <laughs> name, name your movie. Uh, high School Musical. Um, what, what, wait, what were the movies about that were about cheerleader competitions? Uh, bring it on. Dude, bring, bring it, it on. Bring it on. Yeah, bring it on. dude. Like, yeah. this song is going to make you just want to slap a cheerleader and walk away. And yes, I'm talking about that hit by Tony Basil, which, by the way, she wears a cheerleading outfit on the front of the album. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. Uh. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey, tell me you don't want to blow your head off every time you hear that song come on the radio or at a football game or during a competition that you're forced to watch, unfortunately, for whatever reason. Yeah, dude. Like, I'm, I'm, there, there's not a, no, a more annoying song, dude. Like, I, it's when the I, worst. Yeah, when I look back on every time that I've ever, that song's been playing when I'm around, it's never been a good time. It's <laughs> <laughs> I'm never having fun. <laughs> I'm always awesome. wondering how I got to this spot. <laughs> You're like, this is a really interesting song for a funeral, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, I, I, I mean, I literally racked my brain this week trying to think of like what, what the worst one's going to be. Because, you know, One Hit Wonder implies that it was a great song, right? Because it hit the scene. But you're right, dude. Andrew Andrew's absolutely right on this. Not all one-hit wonders are created equal. And there are songs that take off for absolutely no reason. Uh, hashtag, what does the fox say? Oh, dude. Oh. You know? So oh. this is dude, one of them, in my opinion. Yeah. And it's just absolutely horrendous. Kudos to the woman that made money on this song because it was terrible and should have never gone anywhere. But hey, we live in a capitalistic society and... I don't oh my, know sure, how much of that sure. money is remaining, but you know anyone who was out there that actually bought this song, I, I got no respect for you whatsoever Dude. because this is literally the worst one. Could you imagine 
being in that band or touring with that artist and playing that song every night dude. every night every <laughs> Hold on. night and Could the crowd you imagine? Is, and the crowd is loving it no 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 <laughs> not the band wild. <laughs> not the band not the band that's where you got it all wrong could you imagine being the drummer oh that dude. tours with this woman <laughs> That's the song that you play every night. <laughs> oh, it didn't like, be the worst. Yeah, there, there's no one else in that band. No, dude. It's the, it, hey, this, you know, this was the White Stripes before the White Stripes. At the, like, <laughs> at the end of the day, you feel bad for oh, the sound no. guy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you feel bad for the sound guy. He's right. like, I can't dial this in. Yeah, dude. He's not a musician. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it's the Wild West up there. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right. Dude, that one, that one say, is pretty terrible. So. <laughs> I will say, though, that song, not the song itself, but it has a little bit of a special place because anytime I hear it, it makes me think of the scene from Wayne's World. Do you remember the movie Wayne's World? Where they're sitting in the car and uh, he's sitting there with Cassandra and he's like, uh, you're so fine you're so fine you blow my mind and she's like what excuse me he's like oh yeah last song I heard when I got out of the car and so it's stuck in my head and I'm like dude that that happens to me all the time man it just happened to be it's, that song for him yeah. it's not a fluke man that this song every time it's referenced it, it's in a very sarcastic joking manner because that's, <laughs> that's exactly knows, what this dude. song yeah, is it's, 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 a, it's yeah, a joke it's pretty so terrible. yeah anyway that was my worst one hit wonder I hate it I can't stand it when I hear it come on, so that that's the one I went with. So anyway, and I'm done with mine. Rob, what about you? All right. Yeah, I want to throw mine out there because, Andrew, I think yours is the one that's going to spark a little bit of a debate. So <laughs> yeah, let's just save that. So. Let's save that morsel for the end. Uh, <laughs> dude, okay. I was... I was racking my brain trying to decide which what I hated the most, and... I was this close. I'm going to give a little honorable mention to pretty much any song off of Be Not Nobody by Vanessa Carlton because, dude, like a, a Thousand Miles, uh, Ordinary Day, like all of those songs just drive. Her baby talk voice just kills me. Oh, my gosh. So if you're ever having a bad day, just go go on Spotify, look up that album, and it'll just make it worse, and then you'll be fine. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, dude, that was the one where she was on the she was playing the piano like on the yeah. back of the truck or something. Yeah, it, was, it I, pulls I, out I of never, the garage and then she's just like driving yeah, she around town. A million playing miles. Yeah, dude, <laughs> yeah, music video. yeah terrible. Music. Okay, <laughs> here's what I'll say though: if you go watch the ordinary day uh, video, it's all these people, it's all these hippies like laying out in a field, man. But if you imagine that they're all dead bodies. It gives a whole different outlook on that music video, and it's actually kind of cool. So, because she's just walking through a field of bodies, and then sits down at a piano, and is like, "Just a day, just an ordinary day." <laughs> so, go look it up. You're gonna love it. But I, as I was looking through YouTube, over on the right corner, there was a thumbnail, and I read the title, and I said, "Nay." I will click this video and this will be my choice because it was so bad. Oh, man. I can't believe this is the one you went with. I'm going with Donna Lewis. Uh. And you may say, Donna Lewis, who's that? I've never heard of Donna Lewis. Uh. You have because she, she sings a little song that goes, I love you always, forever, <laughs> near and far. We'll be together. <laughs> I blow out my brains in everywhere. Hey, no, you know what, though, dude? That is the best fist bump song, dude. You can just no, keep it, is, it going what? with that bass drum. Dude, no, no. The best uh, fist bump what? song is Tub Thumper by Chumbawamba. <laughs> no, 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 no. We had so many moments in the band, dude, where all four windows were down. Not and so many moments. moments. Not so many moments. <laughs> After every Are you talking about show. when we were on the road? No, we fist bumped. No, we fist bumped this song sarcastically, at, you know, on our way down the highway. I meant it. it. <laughs> I meant it. Oh, man. I felt extremely empowered. That's confessional right there. That's, That's confessional. Beautiful. But yes, there there was a time. Well, maybe a couple times. Dude, hey, yeah. you know what? It's a fist, fist bump Dude, song. It was Listen, hilarious. If you, if you, driving through a city after we just got done playing a gig. We're all decked out in black. Maybe you in makeup. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, Too okay. early. Windows down. Thank you for that, though. With a it's trailer. It's probably 1 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and the side of the trailer like says... Our, whatever band name we had at that time whatever at it was time. <laughs> just blowing 
I love you always forever. <laughs> just like at a stoplight, dude. Like having <laughs> having radio wars with the guy that's playing like, I got five on it. Like <laughs> dude, right yeah. next door, you know? Well, you look, you look over at the stoplight and some dude and all, all he's hearing from our, our vehicle is, you've got the most beautiful blue eyes I've ever seen. <laughs> See, that's oh, why it's dude. difficult to hate that song completely because it does bring back nostalgia, even though we did it in a joking manner. Sure, it, except dude. for Andrew, who meant it, obviously. It's powerful, dude. I he was I looking really, around the vehicle, going, "Guys, I love you always, I forever, always, guys. forever, <laughs> forever." Yeah, that's what brought us here. That's why we're here. Near and far, we'll stick together. I, I, I would. I, I strongly disagree. I, I think that actually belongs, belongs on a top one hundred list. <laughs> Top 100 songs to bro out to, or what? <laughs> Top 100 sure. songs to bro out to. Dude, they could be on a lot of playlists, a lot of different lists. It doesn't matter. Anyway. Uh. <laughs> All right. So, Andrew, I'm looking at this show outline, dude, and I'm seeing your choice, and I don't know if I can get on board with this, so hit us, man. Uh, most Explain people, yourself. I would, I would assume that most people are not familiar with this song. Um, I think you'd be wrong. I, I could be wrong. I could yeah. be wrong. Uh, and it sucks. No, that's not. <laughs> no, it does not. Uh, the artist's name is Falco, yeah. and, which is also awesome. The, the name exactly. is called <laughs> Rock Me Amadeus. Amadeus, Amadeus. <laughs> oh, dude, just the <laughs> worst. <laughs> oh, my Amadeus, gosh. Amadeus, Amadeus. Dude, so this guy <laughs> sees um, he sees the success that Arnold Schwarzenegger is having in America, and he goes, you know what? I'm going to do a little rap and a little rock. Oh, dude. <laughs> Well, doesn't his rap consist of him being like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. you can't even yeah. understand a word he's saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's terrible. The, the song is so bad, dude. So That's what it makes just, it epic, though, dude. Like, I mean, it was... <laughs> <laughs> That's what puts it on this list, dude. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's really it's really difficult not to get into Amadeus, Amadeus. <laughs> I yeah, dude. Just, and I'm sorry, like, the, the I, synth line. That, yeah, dude, it's fun, man. Oh, no, it's fun. no. It's, no, dude, no. Like, if this came on in a bar, I would, like, I, I would I would literally start singing to it. Imagine you're in that same bar, and then I Love You Always Forever comes on, and Andrew starts fist bumping in the middle of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, how, do, uh, how, do, how do, you, you can't even dance to Rock Me Amadeus, at least to, you know... The Donna Lewis song. You can slow dance. You, lo- <laughs> you could slow dance or you could fist bump it, dude. Either one. Oh, man. So I think this just goes to show that Austria, they can't produce actors. They can't produce singers. <laughs> <laughs> but they do produce dictators. <laughs> oh, my. Wow. Oh, my. Okay. Nice. I don't even know how to segue out of that. What are you I, I, doing me to me? Either, me either. All I, all I can say is I think I disagree with your assessment. Um, <laughs> which part? Just the Amadeus part. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it actually reminds me of is the... Did you guys ever see the Simpsons episode where they did the Planet of the Apes musical? No. No. We, okay, we weren't so, allowed to watch Simpsons growing up, remember? Oh, that's Hashtag right. That's right. Okay. One, but we did watch <laughs> there you go, there you go. Children. <laughs> that's right. So there's this scene. I'll make it really quick. There's a scene where they cut to it and they give you a little glimpse of it. And uh, if you remember, there was a guy in the in Planet, a- Planet of the Apes called Dr. Sayus. <laughs> <laughs> like, so they, they all of a sudden bust into Dr. Sayus, Dr. Sayus. <laughs> Dr. Sayus, Dr. Sayus. Ooh, of Dr. Course, Sayus. Dude. Yes, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, so there you go. That's Once again, it just reminds me of something related to film or TV. So there you go. Yeah. Anyways. So, uh, man, how do you segue out of Austrian dictators? If you want to keep the conversation going, <laughs> hit us up once again on Twitter at Yumihi Podcast or uh, on Instagram at Yumihi Podcast. And uh, let's talk about your favorite one hit wonders. Maybe you totally disagree with us. Uh, maybe you, uh, you have a different choice. And so we would love to hear it. And uh, we're just going to post these songs and you're just going to fist bump all week long you're gonna love it. yeah i do so, i do want to clarify rob remember it's not it's not one hit wonders that you love it's love it's one hit wonders that you love to hate dude that that's that, exactly yeah hey imagine yours. is there any other kind yeah <laughs> dude. 
Imagine if you were like in Groundhog Day and the song that came on every morning was Mickey instead oh, of the Sun dude, and Cher you had song. to go there. <laughs> I've got a new nightmare now. So speaking of keeping the conversation going, uh, we had a question come in on Reddit this week from a fellow podcaster. Uh, his name's Brandon, and you can find him uh, on iTunes or on Stitcher at the Meta Magic RPG podcast. I was checking it out today. It was awesome. So, uh, but he asked this. Who is your favorite wild hog? That's a wild hog. <laughs> Dude, yes. If if you've never seen this movie, that sounds very terrible. Oh, it's a movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a, that, so, yes, of course, a lot actually, of baseline a, in it. Actually, it's a oh, Disney movie, oh, I think, oh, right? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about that mid, I think it was mid-2000s no film. there. <laughs> yeah. Featuring Tim Allen, Martin Lawrence, oh. John Travolta, William H. Macy as a bunch of old guys d- trying to rediscover their youth by all getting motorcycles and starting a gang. And so, <laughs> Wild Hogs, who is our favorite? Let's break this down, fellas. You know, I actually, I'm, I'm close to this one. I, I picked William H. Macy because... One solid choice. Yeah, I like the nerd. You know, he's hilarious, dude. The the apple tattoo, hilarious. When he's in the <laughs> bar, you know, like being someone who has yeah. tattoos, I find that particularly oh, funny. Nice ink. Yeah, look dude. at mine. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. So not only that, dude, but then I was petitioning in Los Angeles in 2012 in front of a uh, a uh, Whole Foods uh, down in Santa Monica, and William H Macy walked out. And I oh, pi- what? And I pitched him. I was like, oh, William H. Macy, hey, dude, can I get a signature from you? And he turned around and he goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Like, right on, dude. Have a great day. <laughs> dude, so, I like to imagine William H. Macy in this movie is like before he becomes the shoveler in Mystery Men. Do you remember that movie? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <dude. laughs> yeah. That movie was awesome. Yeah, this is like this Wait, is why? like his origin story. <laughs> well, why would this be his origin story? I just got to ask, dude, because he's like he's like this uptight, the you know, nerd before the super nerd hero. guy, and then just you know we don't get to see what happens, but you know maybe something bad happens to his family, and he just has to take up the mantle of the shoveler. You know he rediscovers, dude, his yeah. primal instincts. Yeah, dude, there it's like because he him and Marissa Tomei get together at the end of this one, right? So uh-huh. he gets the girl, so he's got his. You know, he's all confident and everything now, and then now he's ready to move on to the superhero world. I could see it, dude. But he does have a different wife in Mystery Men, so something happened to Marissa Tomei that caused him to take on the mantle of the shoveler, and then he remarried at some point. She got with Mickey Rourke in The Wrestler. (laughs) Oh, there you go. (laughs) Interesting. All right, William H. Macy. (laughs) Solid, solid. Dude, I think for me, like... I'm good with any of them, just not John Travolta is what it comes down to. So, <laughs> Dude, he, he had one funny part in there that I, I really liked is about the kid, you know, that was shoveling the – or raking up all the leaves. Yeah. And you said $10 like, yeah. in a yard. <laughs> yeah. This is too many leaves. I'm going to be here for days. <laughs> Maybe you should have thought about that before. before you put it on the flyer. <laughs> Total John Travolta move, dude. Uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, I would say other than that, he was probably my least favorite character on there. So I'm I'm with you on that one. I I, I have to disagree with Rob on that one. Like there there there's a big part of that dude, that, that movie isn't a movie without that guy's character. John Travolta. Because, yeah, his character <clears throat> talks them all into going on the road trip. You know, I mean, his life is falling apart. You kind of almost kind of feel bad for the guy, but even through it all, he's still like this douche I guess, yeah. <laughs> I guess, like, you can say. well when you're so watching you, it he's you, still john Travolta. yeah you don't you don't <laughs> yeah, like him <laughs> you don't like him but you kind of feel sorry for him and it's really hard to dislike his character because like i mean he, he he's trying to exude so much confidence and it's failing horribly that it's just really really funny i i, I don't think the movie gets made without john travolta's character you know what i mean like i hate to put it that way but like I don't know. Dude, they should have put reactions? Nick Cage in his spot. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 dude, no. pick a guy. We just talked about how every movie gets worse with Nicolas Cage in it. So we, oh, we wait, that's do right. That. Sorry. Three, <laughs> three actors that are interchangeable. Nick Cage, John Travolta, Tom Cruise. 
<laughs> I don't know, dude. Dude, I nobody was, runs you like at Tom the beginning Cruise, of that movie when uh, William H. Macy crashes his bike and he has to ride yeah. on yeah, the dude. John yeah. Travolta's. Yeah. And like they get off and he was like, you ever sniff me again? I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I mean, he's just got, he's got a lot of the one-liners in the movie, dude. And I, I don't know. I, I thought it was really funny. Like, I mean, he definitely Josh, tries to be you... tougher than he is, but... Are you going down the road of saying that John Travolta is your favorite? No. Okay. I'm not even doing that. Because you've spent a lot of time careful. defending You're this treading guy. on thin ice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not going there. I, I think I tried to make the comment that I can't pick a favorite. So you're saying like any wild hog. You'll just take any wild hog. You're just a fan of all the wild hogs that you can get. <laughs> you shouldn't no, say no. it like that. I'm definitely not saying that either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I just want to go on record as saying I've never repeated what Rob just said. So you know, like, <laughs> Maybe I should approach it a different way, okay? I mean, this movie doesn't get made unless all four of them are in it. But in all honesty... And I don't know if this guy, if if that's what this guy's name was. I just remember it coming from the movie. But probably my favorite character is it the Golden Knight. I, I think, it, <laughs> dude, I, I don't know what his name is, but that sounds right considering I, his character, the cop. The cop. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, yeah. If not, then that's the much dude from better. Scrubs, yeah. right? <laughs> dude, so I mean, he's not even part of the gang, dude. But like, he's in the movie, so I think maybe that like might be my favorite character, dude, dude because that guy is hilarious oh yeah like just <laughs> yeah i see what's going on here five's a crowd huh yeah. <laughs> just, i see three Is that when they're hot spring behavior yeah dude yeah yeah uh, well, he, he, no, no, just, no, no. he oh, rolls up man. on him while they're all sleeping together on that mattress when first the, when like the that's the first down. encounter yeah, <laughs> yeah he's like, he, he goes i see i see three counts of of lewd acts <laughs> and then like one no, count no, i see four just, counts yeah. of lewd acts one count of or two counts of something else and one count of pure jealousy yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then then uh what william h macy's char- character gets up and doesn't have any pants yeah, on. Yeah. oh <laughs> daddy oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man that guy, <laughs> dude that guy was just hilarious man yeah dude uh, i mean yeah yeah he yeah. might be the best actually <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, Dang. Dude. So. Well, hey, let's keep the conversation going. If you want to tell us about your favorite wild hog, which that sounds weird. Uh, if you want to, <laughs> if you want to show pictures of your favorite, no, don't do that either. Um, if you want to talk what, about the movie just, we just talked about, <laughs> yeah. If you want to talk about the film, <laughs> hit us up on Twitter at Yumihi Podcast or on Instagram at Yumihi Podcast. And uh, if you say John Travolta, then there will be blood. Let me just say that. Right now. <laughs> there will be blood. All right, we're coming to the end of our time. So, fellas, if you could give some advice to a younger you, what would it be? Let's take it to Socrates. If I were to, uh, if I were to go back and give a younger self, my younger self, advice, it would probably be to say, "Don't listen to the myths that exist because I don't want your heart broken one day. You need to accept the truth now." Girls do fart. It is it's hilarious. True. It's true, ladies. Hashtag girls fart. And run away when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the ones who say, but they don't smell, you're a liar. Yeah. <laughs> you're a liar. Yeah. We eat the same stuff. Yeah. <laughs> hey, check it out. You fart and you're a liar. Okay, awesome. Yeah. I didn't wake up and see you having a bowl of roses for breakfast this morning. So I'm going to say. <laughs> Drew, what about you, man? Yeah, so I guess if I was younger, you know, looking back on what I read this week, if I, uh, you know, when I had made my first $20,000, I think I would uh, become a woman and then a dragon. (laughs) 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 Dude, science has made it possible. (laughs) So so you're saying you're going to go back and tell yourself to save your money. Well, you, we can skip the woman part. <laughs> woman part. We'll just go to the good dragon. Good call, good call. <laughs> go to the dragon. Okay. All right. So that's why you need 20 instead of 40. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because you're yeah. skipping the female. <laughs> yeah, I'm going right, gotcha. to keep my... Me. <laughs> <laughs> Your wild hog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Cut out the middleman. Wait, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> All right. And if I could go back, give my younger self some advice... I'd sit myself down, look myself straight in the eye, and I would say, there's a man coming from Austria named Falco. You need to take him down, and you need to assume the mantle of Rock Me Amadeus because it's amazing, and Andrew is wrong. It is so good. Go listen to it right now. Uh, 
All right. Well, hey, we just want to say thank you to everybody who's been listening and supporting the show. Thanks for leaving those ratings and those five-star reviews on Apple Podcasts and iTunes. It really helps out the show. Also, feel free to engage with us on social media, uh, on Twitter at Yumihi Podcast and on Instagram at Yumihi Podcast. It's a great place to engage with our content and to leave your questions to try to get them on the show, all that great stuff. Also, we want to say thanks to Brandon from Meta Magic, the RPG podcast, uh, for submitting that question. You can find him on iTunes and Stitcher. And uh, look, if you're a big nerd like me and you enjoy tabletop gaming, I'm talking Dungeons and Dragons, all that good stuff, go check it out. (laughs) Dungeons and men turning into women turning into dragons. (laughs) There you go. All right. Well, hey, until next time, I am Rob Lambert. This is Josh Frankenstein. And Drew Carroll. Rock me, Amadeus. (laughs) 